learned how to move the sprites, the tennis ball, in a random position. Now, in this video, I want to be showing you how to uh, make the ball move in a different direction when it touches the paddles. So, how do we achieve that? Now, we remain on this um, tennis ball, and then we want it to be that, okay, when it touches um, the sprite, that is the paddle sprite, we want it to move, okay, kind of like a movement from the ball when it touches the sprite. So, how do we achieve that? We achieve that by using what? A control structure called what? If statement. So, this is our if statement where you click on control and then you select what? If then statement. So, now the condition would be what? If the ball touches the paddle. So, what do we want um, the ball to do when it touches the paddle? So, we come to sensing and then you select what? If touching what? We now select what? The name of the sprite is what? Sprite 1. If touches, if the ball touches sprite 1, what do we want the ball to do? Okay? So we create another conditional statement. And then we drag it down. And then we'll see what? If it touches sprite 2, what do we want the ball to do? Now we want the ball to move in a different direction when it touches um, the sprites. And remember what I did in coordinates. Uh, uh, when I was explaining coordinates, I'll be using this paddle to explain coordinates again. Let me stop the game and then explain coordinates using this paddle. Imagine this is our ball and it's moving in this direction. Let's just take for example. All right, so this is um, minus one and it's moving and it's coming. So when imagine this is our ball and it touches this paddle, we want it to bounce, but we don't want it to bounce back like straight down. For it to bounce back straight down in the same direction, all you need to do is just to, you know, add up 180 to it. So if you say um, 180, when you add up 180 to this, it turns to this direction. That's 180. Do you understand that? But we want it to move in a different direction. Now, for it to move in a different direction, this is what we're, we're going to do. We're going to subtract the direction of the sprites, of the tennis sprites, by what? 180. Now, let me show you that. Now, imagine this sprite is moving in this direction. That's minus 33. Now, when you subtract 180 minus minus 23, it's going to what? Add up 33 to 180. And that's going to give you what? Um, this is 180. This direction. And then add 33 to it. Can you see? So, it's going to point on a different direction. And that is what we want our sprites to do so that we can achieve different movements when it touches the paddle and that's what we're going to do right there so if you do not really understand this concept you can actually drop um, a comment on the comment section and i'll be glad to you know respond to that okay so let's change it back to 90 and then explain that by using our tennis ball so now for the tennis ball we want it to what point on a different direction now to point on a different direction you come to what motion and then you say what points in direction now when it touches the paddle we want it to touch to move in a different direction now for it to move in a different direction you come to operators and then you select what um the the minus operator and but in this case now we're going to subtract what 180 from the direction the ball the tennis ball is actually moving from so which is what direction right here so you do the same thing for the second sprite using this direction so now with this our ball will be able to move in a different direction when it touches the sprites because it's coming with a different angle right there all you just do is just to subtract that angle from 180 and then it bounces in that direction that's all so now we drag all of this condition inside this forever loop, but between move 10 step and um, bounce when it gets to the edge. And then we'll be able to achieve our bouncing moving when it touches the paddle. Now let's test run our code and see how far we've gone. So when we move, now when we move this right now, you see it bounces, but now in a different direction. You see that? bounces in a different direction because of the formula we gave which is what 180 
minus the direction the ball is coming from. You see that? So now this is what we have been able to achieve in this video. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to start counting points for the users. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm glad that you actually um, following up to this point. Please remember to subscribe, tell your friends about this lovely channel and I'll see you in the next video.